do you have a physical ailment that you are currently experiencing and you have an understanding of, I think that I can heal this within myself. I'm just not sure how to do it. We're going to get into it because I just did an Akashic Record reading for a client and helped her with something similar. When we started the session, it was so funny because <laughs> I told her, I was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. This, 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 and this, and this. She was like, wow, you're so organized. <laughs> and she was like, I'm glad that this session is organized. I was like, yeah, the, <laughs> we have a process over here. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what her other experiences were, but I just thought it was very funny. Okay. So we were talking about uh, her physical ailment that she was experiencing. And I, before we got on the session, I was talking to her higher self and I was explaining to her that that um, situation that she was dealing with was actually from trauma. That happens when we have a lot of heavy, dense energy within us or we have a lot of PTSD. It hardens and crystallizes and gets attached to our chakras and our meridian lines and our bones and cells and DNA. And once you start to unravel those things, you're able to help disidentify with those things that you're currently experiencing and help them heal and release them. And I asked her, what is your relationship with your inner children and your higher self? Because I was picking up on some core wounds within her inner children. And I asked her about them and she was like, oh yeah, that really resonates. And I said, sometimes when we are trying to connect with our higher self, we can't hear them very quickly clearly because those channel lines are not open enough yet. And that was me at the beginning stages of my journey. I couldn't hear mine very well either. And so I actually started turning backwards and helping my inner children healing with their trauma and PTSD and things that they had been through. And then I started to hear them very clearly. And then all of a sudden I could hear my higher self super clear because I taught myself how to be a higher self through working with my inner children, which also had a million other great side effects or side effects <laughs> because now we were a completely different person from all the healing that we had done. And the reason I say this, okay, is because we have a whole bunch of higher selves. It's not just one. That's where it gets confusing sometimes with you being able to hear them because you're trying to talk to a higher self a year from now and five years from now and 10 years and 15 years from now. And it's not a clear directional path forward. But if you personify you a year from now and talk to them specifically and give them consciousness, what are their thoughts, feelings, and emotions? What kind of actions are they taking? What do their relationships look like? What do their finances look like? What do their career look like? One, it's going to help you with your manifesting abilities, but it's also going to teach you how to personify things. And it's going to teach you how to do that with your inner children as well. And the reason I bring up personification is because you can do that with any energy. You can do that with wealth, love, joy, peace, magic. In shamanism, we have four different energy bodies. We have our physical body, our emotional body, our spiritual body, and our mental body. If you have some type of physical ailment that you are dealing with, you can go in, personify them. In this case, it was her personal body or her physical body. That's the keeper of your central nervous system, your PTSD, your cells, and your DNA. You can actually talk to them as a person and heal them on a quantum level so that they can release that and that both of you, you, the multidimensional self and the physical body and your inner children, your higher self can all move on to a more magical healed timeline. And I was explaining to her as well that the reason that she was currently experiencing this in her life is because she was going to teach herself how to be a quantum healer. She already is a quantum healer per a lot of different incarnations, but you have to key unlock and re-remember and activate that within yourself. And you can only heal other people with things that you are working on within self or have healed within self. So this was almost her trial by fire of going through quantum healing and then being able to practice on other people. I was saying the amazing thing about being a quantum healer is you are a channeler for so many different things, not just your inner children or other people's timelines or their higher selves. You can literally channel anything. You can channel crystal energy, you can channel Reiki, light language, you can channel other different higher versions of yourself from different incarnations. You can do so many wild, incredible things, but you have to teach yourself how to do that through doing these type of healing levels within yourself. And then we got into how to hold better energetic boundaries so you are not absorbing other people's trauma and PTSD and their thoughts, feelings, and emotions, how we can get better at our channeling abilities, how to become a more proficient quantum healer, what the steps of that are looking forward. Uh, so I would love to hear in the comments if you have any questions or what your thoughts are or if you're a quantum healer, I would love to hear as well.